And oftentimes from that, from, 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 from me just seeing it happen, I, you know, it's oftentimes kids can pull marriages apart. How, like with that said, in your experience, it seems like it's somewhat bringing you together because you're also creating things together along the way. How do you ensure, I guess, that as you continue to grow as a family, that the kids continue to bring you somewhat closer versus pull you apart? <laughs> well, I'll say it's us versus them. <laughs> <laughs> Like, this my road dog yo sure. we can't survive out here without each other the kids will drive us crazy yeah. i need her <laughs> so Dang. it's like it's us versus them and sometimes they're winning we gotta we gotta have each other's back i would say if anything that's what's getting us even closer is we got two whippersnappers who are just plotting on how to take us down so that's one but the, the two, and this is like on a more serious note, the way our kids are built, they need two parents, right? Like the, like Ooh, the, yes. it's just like how they talk, how they interact. I, they don't act folks that like could survive in a one parent household or have like They would drive that families. parent crazy if it was mm -hmm. two, uh, two kids to one parent. Yes, that's why we are two and done. They need a lot of attention. You know, I don't know if it's the world we're living in, just their their personality. I, I, I commend the single parents. I don't want to be one and I know it's hard. You know, I've, I've seen that with my mom growing up. What do we do? We, we work on projects and things together. I know we'll talk about the book in a few minutes, but um, working on projects together is something that we can find joy in doing. And investing in a babysitter you know investing in some things that we can have a date you know fridays you know we have it's date night but it's really in the house it's not we're going out every friday um but we do have that allotted time um, there's also an app called the paired app and we answer questions every single day the app comes up with questions and this some of the questions can be oh wow this is kind of a deep question let me really think about this yeah. a little uncomfortable a little uncomfortable for me to answer this question but you know the paired app it just comes up with the question it's objective so it keeps the conversation going it keeps the communication open you mentioned the app like what were some of the first sort of projects that you experienced as a couple and yeah what were some of those first sort of projects that 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 you worked as you know creatives together to try and build yeah i would say like the first one was <laughs> buying a house buying a house together we really need to lean on each other shamel actually found the house any house that we've lived in shamel has found that house we've had to like work with realtors we had to share all the financial stuff all the stuff intricacies and getting a house together really like was like our first time like working with each other I'll also say setting up my LLC. Shamel like did a lot of the stuff to set up, help set up my LLC and start the business. And she was supporting with the social media. She quit her job as my I'm social sorry. media yeah, manager. My bad. Whatever, <laughs> neither here nor there. <laughs> for another day. <laughs> no kids. Why I can't yeah. Do it. And, and and what is that? What what so, is the LLC? Uh, what type of business is it? Heroes for Hire is a organization. It's a business that supports social entrepreneurs to take their ideas and turn them into fully functional nonprofit organizations. Have an idea, you talk with me and we set up your 501c3, we set up your articles of incorporation, all the intricate paperwork that can seem complex and annoying, like we take care of it for you. Shamel, it was an idea that I had and if it went for Shamel, it wouldn't have actually become a business that's been going on for like- Since 2016. Yeah, since 2016. Yeah been several seven years now so, yeah and then you know eventually move in Shamel's LLC and then you know the book so and mm -hmm. like, so what's stuff. so Shamel so what's your LLC so my LLC is keys to college LLC and of course it's in college access assisting students and parents to help them through the admissions process just um, demystifying the process whether that's one-on-one -on -one meetings whether I'm talking to a classroom or a group of parents I love of being able to just break down the process of college admissions. I've been doing that for a long time, even when I was in high school. I just thought that, hey, might as well make a business out of it because it's my passion. You you have the entrepreneurial sort of mindset there. Where did that come from for you to say, hey, you that's idea, let's turn it into an LLC. And, oh, okay, now I got this. 
Where did you get that from, in your opinion? I, I, I can I can go. I wish I would have had that entrepreneurial spirit a little earlier. Of course, you know, you always got the, the old head. You need a business, you know, you need to have this <laughs> and have that because they knew that they wish they would have a little bit earlier. I just wasn't ready to receive it. Um, but I, I will say two things. One is I grew up going to motivational talks. Mr. Dudley, he owns Dudley Hair Care Products. My mother used to take me to, well, she was going for herself, but I was coming along with her every Thursday. You know, he's an entrepreneur. He's always talking about business and, and, and things of that nature. Some things I caught on, some things I was just playing with my toys, but I, some of the things did seep in. And then also what made me want to just go ahead and go for it was I was listening to this book, um, audio book called Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. And one of the things that he says is after you've been doing something for 10 years, you are an expert. At that point of me starting Keys to College, I had been in college access for 10 years. I felt like I had the confidence, you know, and the knowledge and experience to be able to share that. And doing the paperwork was quite easy. It's the maintaining it. <laughs> that That is something. But just doing the paperwork for the LLC was 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 quite easy. And then the social media, so that, that part was fun. Um, but still, I know just being a business owner is is not easy. I'm still still learning. Yeah. Second person and for me, to it was uh, liars on the podcast, by the way. Second person mm -hmm. to mention that specific book. Just had I to didn't read that book. Good book. And I was just gonna say I, I took a my minor at UNC was entrepreneurship. And mm. that's pretty much what like started the bug and had me having a we call it like we call it hustling but entrepreneurship is a, a you know the colloquial way to like say just like our mindset i appreciate you sharing that i appreciate you sharing everything because it life is a journey and it and it is definitely a road that you don't necessarily know where the next turn is even coming but you just have to be ready to embrace what is in front of you and you you came together and you built this family i guess before i get to the book my question is it, it's a children's book of all books why a chill who woke up and said ah children's book why a children's book there there's a couple of things that had this book formed together the way it is for one Shamel, as Shamel shared we like working on stuff together there's some connect there's just enjoyment for us working together on specific activities, especially one that can generate additional revenue into the household. Even aside from that, we love books. We got a whole bunch of books in this house, a whole bunch. I read a lot as a kid. I'm sure Shamel did as well. And we have a lot of books. We read to our kids all the time. They have an abundant amount of books. But one thing we noticed was as we were reading books to our kids, it wasn't really a book book on getting to college on the path to go to college there was books about college is great and there you know stuff like that but there weren't really books about the journey to get to college and Shamel will say this better than me because she was like she kind of just shared i'm good at college access she is the goat when it comes to college access <laughs> and like there's nobody on, she knows she is a guru she is the greatest of all time when it comes to college access like yeah yeah get away from the get away from the camera <laughs> she is amazing when it comes down to it like for for that to be something that when we got someone in the house who is a master at this specific skill and we don't have a way to engage with folks about it it's kind of weird it's important in college access to get started as early as possible we wanted to get our kids excited about college and the concept of college but we didn't really have something for them to read and specifically one that featured characters that looked like them like we couldn't see it and the way that we're built if we don't have it if it doesn't exist i guess that means we're supposed to make it that's that's part of the origin story but right. i'll turn it over yeah i also wanted to expand on what you were saying about children need to know earlier because i mostly work with juniors and seniors and the parents are clueless even if the student is a third generation college student because the college mm. process has changed so much mm. um i think there will be a little bit more consistency hopefully over the next 10 years or so you know hopefully you know the book will age very well um <laughs> there are certain things that we were intentional about oh you got book. volume two three four and five <laughs> on the way yeah <laughs>